back to Let's Play X-Men Legends. My name is Basilisk, I'm still your host, so let's get started. In the last episode, we made it to this save point and didn't do anything else, so... If I remember correctly, it's been a while, I should've looked. Ah, whatever, okay. In this episode, we're gonna go trooped up and back up to the dormitories. We can't go outside again this interlude, so let's go. We've got stuff to look at in Colossus' room. This isn't Colossus' room. Okay, I know where I'm at then. I forgot I could do that. Okay. So, yeah, you can zoom in and out with the right joystick by tilting it up or down. That's good to know. Okay. Review concept art. I don't remember what we have here. Morlocks. I'm pretty sure that's new. Arrow's design looks silly. Wrong button. There we go. Uh, let's see what else here. Uh, rogue. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm pretty sure we got something else new here, didn't we? Oh, that's probably it. There we go. Okay. Alright, let's go. Hop in the elevator and head down to the ground floor. Because I don't feel like walking back to the stairs. Oh, that is a beautiful picture. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Alright. Now then, I'm pretty sure there's a... I'm fairly certain there's a collectible right here. A sketchbook. Uh, if I'd known about that, I'd have waited until after this to view the artwork in Colossus's room. Whatever. Uh, we can't go outside can't talk to any of the people here because Allison's an antisocial punk. Actually, I think it's because they're all too shy to talk to me now that I'm an ex-person. An ex-woman. Whatever. Uh, nobody in there. And I don't think there's anybody in the classrooms to talk to. Okay, let's talk. Let's open this. We got Gambit's comic. Which is kind of neat. Okay. Well, that's buggy. Yeah, we're gonna pop back up to Colossus' room, look at the new artwork we got, and then we'll head back down to the sub basement where all the important stuff's happening. Sorry if I'm a little tired. Um. I haven't been getting much sleep lately. Some stuff. Asteroid M, maybe? Almost certainly. Yeah, because it's in between the Morlock Tunnels and the Sentinels, okay. Uh, right, okay, let's go. Sub basement. Oh, I just cracked my neck. That. That actually really hurt. Ow. Okay, um... Now, if you run it... Now, when I said I couldn't find out much about Avalanche, or, um... Saber... Avalanche? Um, and I wasn't getting to do Sabertooths yet, because this isn't... He wasn't a major threat. They're not even listed in this thing. So, yeah. I don't know. I'm debating whether or not I'm going to continue with the bios for more than Magneto and the last playable character we're getting. At this point, I'm kind of leaning towards no, because the feedback I've gotten says that I'm just, that nobody actually seems to like those. And I'll be completely honest, they're kind of a pain in the ass to make. Hello, so... Allison. How's the professor doing? His vital signs dropped slightly this morning, but he's stabilized now. We're gonna talk. That, that small change worries you. Yes, it does. I'm not sure how long the human body can live without a mind, and I have no idea how long the mind can exist without a body. I'm afraid if we don't do something soon, we'll lose the professor forever. Hang on a minute, I'm trying to remember something, because I'm pretty sure this actually came up in an issue of the comics I've read. Or was that Excalibur? I don't know. Are you as uncomfortable as I am about using her mutant powers? Let me guess. You're afraid of losing control. 
Well, you know that time I lost control in the danger room? A part of me liked it. Maybe a little too much. I'm afraid I might change if it happens again. You mean like I turn into the phoenix if I overextend myself? Yes. That's why the school is so important to us, Allison. It teaches self-control. The phoenix is a separate entity. Jeez. What was it like, turning into the phoenix? It was terrible and wonderful at the same time. I've never felt such raw power, such confidence. I could do anything. But at the same time, I felt so out of control. All that energy consumed me. It turned me into a monster. Are you ever afraid you'll transform into the Phoenix again? There's always that chance, Allison. But I take it a day at a time and resist those urges that could lead me down the path to the Phoenix. I wish I had that kind of self-control. You're a strong person, Allison. Continue to train in the danger room, and I'm sure you'll have no troubles with control. Actually, I'll be... Take good care of Professor Xavier. I will, Allison. I promise. I'll be completely honest, Dark Phoenix is one of my favorite designs in, the, in, in comics. Maybe it's because I like the color red and it worked well with the gold, but it's just one of my favorite designs in comics, period. We can't go to the X-Jet hangers, let's talk to Beast. Oh, really quick, about the bios, I probably won't be continuing them for anyone besides um, Psylocke, who's our last playable character, and Magneto, because honestly, I don't think anybody actually enjoys them. I mean, I, I don't know. If, if y'all really want me to continue with it, let me know, and I will, but until then, I'm just going to drop it for everyone but those two, and I won't be bringing it back for X-Men Legends 2 when I get to doing that one. Ah, welcome, young Allison. As opposed to old Allison? <sighs> what are you working on? I'm attempting to devise a means by which the X-Jet will be able to circumvent the shields around Asteroid M. As yet... I have been entirely unsuccessful. So what's that piece of equipment over there? That is the Astral Gate. Cyclops and Wolverine acquired it during their excursion to the Weapon X labs. Why the quotations? What's it do? It's an interesting piece of technology based on psychic mutant powers. I believe it will allow non-psychics to travel to the Astral Plane. Oh, wow! Could we use this to save Professor X? A most intriguing idea, Allison. Goodbye, Beast. I hope to see you again soon, Allison. Um... And I still... One thing I do... I will be doing X-Men Legends 2. Um... I'm probably not going to be doing it immediately after X-Men Legends. Um... Because at that point, I'll want to take a break from X-Men stuff, and um, with Valkyria Chronicles being put onto the whenever I have a fucking episode schedule, I'm... Can I just stand in here? I wonder. Yes, I can. Okay, that's cool. Um, I'm not entirely sure what I'll be doing after this, but that's actually still quite a bit off, so let's just focus on this. Hello! I don't think there's anybody in here, and it's not time to do a mission yet. That would be stupid! Uh, God, the missions here are going to give me so many headaches. The upcoming missions are going to give me so many headaches. Actually, what am I on about? No, I, no I'm not. Let's go bug White Queen. Oi! Hello, Allison. What can I do for you? What are you doing with Cerebro? I've been viewing the astral plane, trying to see what Shadow King has done with Charles. What have you found? Nothing. The astral plane is in a tremendous amount of upheaval. I've never seen anything like it before. So Shadow King really hates Professor X, huh? Shadow King despises Charles with every fiber of his being. Why? Because Shadow King is an insatiable egomaniac. Years ago, he was bested by Charles in a battle on the astral plane, and Shadow King would never let that go unanswered. I read that issue of the comics, and it was kinda silly. I've never been able to take Shadow King seriously as a villain after reading that. Do you think the professor will survive? My dear, never, ever count out Charles Xavier. 
He's a man of amazing strength and fortitude. He survived the impossible more than once. I'm counting on him to do so again. Cheers, so where's my X-Men Legends 3? I wanted so badly. Cerebro. Thank you, dear. I'll not rest until Charles is set free. And with Marvel making freaking bank off of the off of the movies right now you can't there's no way they're thinking they can't make a game out of it that actually is good although well maybe it's X-Men Destiny's fault that was a good game but it flopped I liked it hey Pebbles long time no see thank you what have you been doing all this waiting around gets me a little on edge so I was in the danger room letting off some steam nothing like a good scrap to clear the head Do you think we're partially responsible for all this trouble? What? You mean Magneto being free? Mm, yeah. The X-Men could have stopped him at the Arbiter, but we didn't. Kiddo, our number one responsibility is to help people. Mutants and humans alike. Saving lives on the Arbiter was way more important than capturing Magneto. But don't worry, Allison. Magneto will get his in the end. How did you learn to fight so well, Wolverine? Simple. I'm the best at what I do. But what he does isn't very nice. See Seriously. You, Wolverine. Finish. See you around, kiddo. Either way. Now then, on to the gameplay part of this episode. To the danger room! We've got four lessons to take, plus... As I know all of you are waiting, we've got to go back and finish Iceman's freaking stage. Uh, I hate that level so much. Um, let me think here. We're gonna do we're gonna do focus 402 first because I remember it being pretty easy. Now, if I can remember who we're bringing along, um, let's make sure nobody has to level up. You do. No. Okay, I remember what's going on here. Okay. Oh, this is, if this is what I remember it is, we're going to want Emma you, Frost. um, you, Gambit. not you, not yet, uh, you on Night matter principle, and you, Magma. because I need a tank. Okay, if this is the one I remember, it's another Astral Plane mission. It's been way too long since I was in the, what since I played the this training game. I'm right! Begin. Feet ten enemies. And of course. We're starting with Emma Frost, who does extra damage to Astral enemies. Woo! So yeah, this is gonna work out well for us. This is an easy mission, just beat enemies until they die, find an astral shade. And as you can see, we're already down to just killing five, kill, already down to just five enemies left. Oh, I need six to Generating a Congratulations, you have successfully completed yeah. the course. This is an easy job. I just remembered I need to sell stuff, so... Let's turn around and head back to the save point! <laughs> um... Fortunately, we can access the shops from the expansion. So that... That... That. That. Uh, I don't need that. I need to do something with these, though. Um, no. Because I'm only going to need, I think, two mo one more after this. So, and, uh, I know which one I'm gonna, gonna use, at least at first, so, um, 
that might actually work. Something like that. Oh boy. I don't need Callisto's eye patch. So that can go. I definitely need the hammer of Nimrod. Um, let's see here. In fact, I'm going to be needing it pretty quick. Uh, that, why do I even have this? Um, I don't need that. Let's see. Oh, that's what that is. Fire damage. Okay, I'm going to get rid of that. Um... Yeah, we'll keep these. You can buy a grab bag. I'm not going to because they're freaking expensive. Alright, uh... Let's buy our way up to max health packs because I can. That cost us a lot of money, but okay. Don't worry, we'll make it all back here in a moment. Hey. In fact... Um, yeah, I'm going to end this episode off here. Alright, I'm going to end this episode off here. In the next episode, we will do more Danger Room stuff. In the meantime, this has been Basilisk, and I will see you all then. Thank you, and good night.